Hey everyone, welcome to JB's Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Halogen H7 light bulb on a 2010 Mazda CX-7. Uh, it's a little trickier than you might imagine. Um, so let me go through the steps here and um, show you how it's done. A um, couple of items you're going to need are nitro gloves, uh, a flashlight, um, your light bulbs, and an impact wrench, and a 21 millimeter socket. The first thing you have to do is to jack up the car and remove the front tire. This is the easiest way to do it, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, the second thing you have to do after jacking up the car and removing the tire is to undo the wheel well so that you can access the light bulb, which is uh, the headlight, which is in there. Um, underneath the bumper here, there's three screws that need to be taken out, and then a bunch of these clips. Um, if you have a small flathead screwdriver, you can pop the center up and then needle nose pliers or just regular pliers, you can pull these out. Um, and they're, uh, they're pretty sturdy. They don't, they don't break too easily um, as long as you're, you're ginger with them. And they, they go in spots like here all throughout the wheel well. Um, it's, it's bendable enough that you can bend it back without kinking anything. Um, so let me swing back here a minute, grab the flashlight, and show you the area where it's located. That is where it's located there. Now, if you can see, there's a little spring clip here, and this is what, what gives it all the trouble. This actually swings over a socket which is attached to the H7 light bulb and if you don't um, remove that carefully this is what will happen. You will break off the whole side of the socket and the only way to repair that the, the correct way is to replace the whole headlight which is $250. Um, so um, to avoid doing that, what I've done is, um, when I, when I assemble it back, I actually hot glue the, the spring clip onto, um, onto the socket there. Um, otherwise, moisture and everything else would get in there and blow out the bulb prematurely. Um, one other thing I want to show you is this. This rubber gasket goes over top of the light bulb. Um, so this is this is the H7 light bulb and this is the socket. Um, the, the light bulb goes into the socket and then the socket goes um, into the headlight and the spring clip comes from this side um, and comes over top of it like this and clips into what would have been a little plastic clip over here. It's a really stupid design um, if, you, if you don't know how to access it. And the first time I did it, I broke it off. And I tried using crazy glue and I ended up gluing the plastic to my fingers and it was a big fiasco. So once once this is in there, this is the old light bulb, which is why I'm touching it. Your new light bulb, you don't want to touch any of that. The fingers and the, or the uh, oils on your fingers and the dirt um, will, if not right away, blow that. It will it will blow it um, prematurely, pretty quickly. Um, so you want to use this glove when handling that. So, anyways, this goes into there. Like I said, this goes into the headlight. The spring clip comes over top here and clips in here. And then this slides over top. 
Um, and so this part here goes over top of this whole socket here so that this is sticking out. And then your wiring harness inside will slide over top of that. I use electro grease and I, I grease both the inside of this where the light bulb's going and the socket on the wiring harness for where this goes into. So I don't get any type of corrosion at all. Um, so I hope that helps because um, to take it into the dealer to have them replace the light bulb just seems stupid to me if if you're a handy person and you know how to do things um, so I think I covered everything um, hopefully this helps uh, let me know what you think post your comments and questions and I'll talk to you next time thanks a lot